What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 93 of our Pokemon Reborn Let's Play. Last time was a bit of a weird episode. We flew back to the Grand Hall where AIM told us that we needed to find three of our friends, that being Victoria, Adrian, and some DJ something something, um, and that they were located somewhere around the city. Throughout the episode, we realized that the city means that all of these wards are also included. So we were exploring a little bit through, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. But in today's episode, our goal is to continue exploring and hopefully find those two, as well as finishing our side mission of finding four gulches. I do believe we have three. We just need to find the fourth one. So anyway, as we also said at the beginning of the last episode, we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. I don't know how much more is left. So... I hope you continue to enjoy this series because it's going to be going away for now much sooner than I thought it was originally. So sit back and enjoy today's episode. Now, as I had mentioned, <clears throat> I, I feel like last episode I was kind of rushing through because this whole uh, almost recapping of the entire game. I wasn't sure how I felt about that. Uh, I'm going to try and slow down now. Whoa, 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 hold on. All right. What I was saying was I'm going to try and slow down and actually re-explore the entire thing because there are probably people that are saying stuff that's pretty cool, important, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope you don't mind. The last 10 episodes, 15 episodes have been story, 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 battle, 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 battle. We're going to take a little bit of a break and just get through what we need to re-explore what all Amethyst has put in here. And we'll, we'll surely be met with a difficult battle soon enough. So here we go. Greetings trainer I have clearly never seen and has definitely not already blown the quiz once. Please allow me to re regal you with mind-boggling questions. Okay, you know what? Let's just get to it before my dead eyes roll into the back of my head. Question number one. This is an easy one. How many headbutt trees are there in the area around the Grand Hall? I don't have a clue. So she's quizzing us on something. I moved here from Spindletown when I heard the city was being rebuilt, but I never imagined it could be this grandiose. Something down here. Hey, okay, it's this way. Of course, it's a. It's a, all of them have been. Oh, something's going on down there. We've got our work cut out for us now. It's safe to sh set ship again. Water may look clean, but there's still a lot of pollution in it and sick Pokemon suffering. It's up to us to get those out of there and loose ends, blah, 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 blah. Most recent reports suggest that the toxicity level of the water is declining at an incredulous weight rate. The water treatment center alone is powerful when operational, of course. There's no way to be able to make this much difference in so little time. I have a new hypothesis. The Pokemon must have woken up, come back out or out of hiding, whatever the case may be. I bet they're working hard to clean the lake too. We just have to give them a little shove. Now, how to test this. You've seen the lighthouse over there, right? It was built way back when Reborn City was a small upstart town. And now that, and now a coral ward was only a, and what's now a coral ward was only a small pier on the lakeside. However, it's been, it's been out of, service ever since the city's first decline doors locked up tight probably no one left alive has a key to it anymore maybe there's another way to get in like a secret entrance just barely out of sight somewhere just kidding but thinking that way keeps me entertained during the dull parts of fishing well that was the biggest hint i've hang in there spoink i know it's tough but we'll find your pearl yet oh hi there i'm in a bit of a pickle right now my spoink lost its pearl Without their pearl, Spoink get really, really tired. I gave it this thing for until we can find it the real one, but I haven't had any luck at, at all so far. Like, but where's the hint? I mean... Alright, so let's see what's going on here. So like I said, I am going to explore a bit. Don't tell the chief I'm skating off. Whoa, like I said, we'll have a battle soon. Delmonds. And we're just kicking right back at it. Level 70s, let's freaking go. All right, now. 
Probably should have just used Air Slash. Misty Terrain. I don't know what I was expecting. Does Delmize always have Misty Terrain? Maybe it does. So I think we're actually going to be treating the mulch thing as a side quest. We're going to go back and re-explore everything that we that we left off before, like last episode. If that was psychic terrain. My my 7th gen mind is not, never works, actually. How can you just punch a... Like, how can you just punch a cat like that? Also, Mercedes has literally been with us since, like, episode 3. Like, Blastburn and Mercedes are the... Come on! Thank you. That was annoying. All right, what do we got next? What do we got next? A Raichu. A Lolan Raichu. Yep. Nobody ever uses regular Raichu. I'm more of a fan of regular Raichu. I like regular Raichu a lot. That's always been a really cool Pokemon to me. Yeah, you use lock on. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. You're dead. Go right ahead. You're dead. Go right ahead. You're dead. All right, hold on. There's bound to be a hidden something something somewhere. Just out of sight. Let me see. Let me see if I can find what he was talking about. Oh, I'm already over to a puffle. Hmm. What game should we play next? You smell that? It smells like home. Glad, I'm glad it smells like home for you. Say, so you think it's ethical to start fishing right after the environment recovers? Maybe the Pokemon will need more time to recover first. Nah, fishing is a lifestyle. I wouldn't be fishing. Hold on. Coral Ward is totally the place to be now that there's so many pretty things to look at. Oh, and I don't just mean the scenery. Yeah, okay, I get it. I don't know. Green Shard? All right, hold on. There's like a lot going on right now. Talk to these guys. I want to get out there and help too. I'm so tired of sitting around the city all day. Take me with you guys. All right, boys. Let's put it, pull it together and haul out. We got a lot of work to catch on, catch up on. Heck with the lake's health. I want to eat some fish. Ever had seeking steak? I can't wait to get back out there on the water surface. Seeking steak. What's gonna? Where? 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 Hold on. All right, what's going on here? What should I do next? About these new regulations. The waterway has been completed. How should we proceed? Oh, you know what? This is Adrian. I'm so stupid. I can't, I didn't realize this was Adrian. Okay, document the design maintenance procedures and a draft schedule for employees to check it. Public safety regulations, right? Get it online, print flyers, and have one of the volunteers post the ordinances throughout the city. Um, you are Steinsman, Crystal Street Complex, 2C, am I remembering correct? 
Uh, y yes, we're still having the issue with the electricity. What, really? Someone was supposed to go buy that for, uh, to go buy for that on Tuesday. Um, nobody showed up. Gracious. Okay, I am so sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for telling me. I know it must have been huge letdown to deal with that for so long. You finished with the place on Kingsbury? Yes, everything should be... Whoa. Yes, everything should be ship -shaped there now. You're an angel. Could you escort Miss Steinsman there to Mr. Finesilver at the Neo Circuit Power Plant? He's filling it for Julia at the moment and should be able to help her. There's your signature. Do you need anything else? That's all. I'll get right back to the office right away. Thank you, all of you, for your hard work. Please come find me if you have any problems. Oh, deep breaths. Everything is wonderful. My apologies for making you wait, Domino. I hope you've been well. I understand you've been gone for a while, but look, this whole place. This is the city that I can be proud of. Even if it fell apart before, the pieces were always there. It just took some people to put them back together. With the help of the local gym leaders, students from Apophel and Onyx, and more volunteers than I could ever have hoped for, I think we've really made a miracle happen here. It was daunting. No, in the beginning, I'd almost say nightmarish. But one doesn't make this happen with announcements and inspirational speeches alone. I started one house at a time, taking personal interest in each crack and story within its walls. And from teaching others to do the same in return, everything has erupted outwards into some kind of dream. But we're not done yet. Not even close. That's enough. Uh, that's enough, though. You came to see me for a reason, I assume. Aim's calling for me. Understood. Please go on ahead. I have a couple more things to finish, but I'll be right there. Alright, are we going to address what the fog is? Why the music changing? Hmm. Skitty? You gave me a skitty? Do I still have skitty? I don't remember a skitty. Skitty, skitty, right there. Oh, Dingus McGee. Why did I name it Dingus? I mean, I know why I named it Dingus. But why did I name it Dingus? Isn't that a guy's name? Alright, um... Alright, like, I kind of searched everything there. What I mean by that is, I think I can go to Apoffle. I wonder if Apoffle is included in this city search because if i was gonna guess where victoria was it would probably be there actually hold on before we go i want to finish exploring everything that we didn't do last time there's a couple things i want to do no i pressed the wrong button Uh, three. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for sale. Sticky barb. Okay, so. Okay, I'm not going to use one of those. Because I don't do... Okay. I don't do uh, weather effects when I play. Special items? What did, this, what did that say? Okay. Not quite what I need. I need to find like a magnet and things like that. Round? Why would that randomly be sold here? Also, the stuff here is expensive. Holy crap. Oh, I missed it. There are, there are extra words there. Was I supposed to find those stickers at a point in the game that a great ball would have been relevant? Wow. Hold on, let me go back down here. 
There was somebody... I wonder where I can... Actually, you know what? I'll probably get at least one or two more stickers in my travel. What the heck? I, I don't understand. Why is this shop running by a Meganium? How does she manage business? How does she greet customers? Why is this a thing? I don't get it. It's probably... <laughs> Excuse me. It's probably rude to ask, right? All right. All right, Meganium runs the shop. That's all you need to know. Welcome to Silph Co's Reborn Branch Headquarters. As always, the upper levels are unavailable to the public. However, look forward to a classic product line making a reappearance in Reborn. Silph Scope. Self application. All right, I have two self applications for some reason. All right, what do we got here? You wouldn't guess it, but I have a college degree, but no one wanted to hire me because I'm too overqualified. Hopefully, this place will be different. So the applications are back here, huh? I guess I'll give it a try. Working at a candy store seems like it could be rad. You looking to apply to? Some of these questions seem silly to me. You consider yourself an honest person? Yes. I actually wasn't asking you. That's one of the questions on the form. But a dishonest person always just gonna lie, right? So what's the point? Wait, what if I like, am I carry? Ooh, I forgot I had a sort, a sort button. So like self application. Why did I go all the way to the top? Self application. Use. All right, that's interesting. I don't get it. Sweet Co is de is dedicated to quality service and quality products. We help to make everyone visit our stores and every experience. Please look forward to our newest shops. Don't care. I have two of both. I don't know what that means. Um, okay. This is very interesting. What? Oh, okay. I really like how the game, like, completely changed. Of course the item finders respond. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay, there's one place that I did not explore this way. Do I have Poke Snacks? What is this box doing sitting here? Do I not have Poke Snacks? I'm scared, I don't know what I did. Oh! Okay. Okay, I do. I have plenty of Poke Snacks, I was gonna say. What a suspicious box. I don't know why the game sped up there. Um. Okay. I think I walked up this entire way. What?
Hey, lady, I think you're sitting on top of something. I'm confused. Hold on. How many items I missed the first time? All right, I just want to check because when I was over here the first time, I didn't realize how different things were. What is this? This is going to take me to that TM that we saw in the last episode. This is crazy. I hope I hope it, this isn't like too bad to watch. Cuz like I said, we've been doing so much story stuff. It's low sweep. I don't have for low sweep. Anyway, we've been doing so many important battles and it's just kind of been not like wearing me out, but it's just been a lot. And to be able now to just sit back for a little bit, re-enjoy the game. This hasn't been touched, right? Okay. Still level three, Noibat. I almost, I remember when I almost picked up a Noibat, or maybe I did pick up a Noibat. I just never got to use it. Okay, so next up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump on the bike and ride around. We got to go to the who you call it. I hope I don't have to go to the bike vixen who you call it. I hear music outside. I hear very loud music outside over my headphones. Just kidding, I knew I recognized that music. <laughs> I knew I recognized that music. I did. Um, I wonder if you could hear that. I should have looked, but uh, I wonder if you could. Oh my god. Hey, I'll drink to it. What? To another street way repaired. And when the, when the city stands tall and proud once more, we'll know who was responsible for it. Our fingerprints are embedded in the very stone that makes this city. This is our world now. Cheers. Uh, guys, I'm pretty sure this place has no alcohol policy. What is this guy doing? Uh, can those guys just shut up already? I'm trying to concentrate here. On what? What are you doing? Yay, this place is just like staying in hotel forever. Caught him. I'm glad we have to come here. I would never have made friends. The eternal optimism of the youth is something we should all aspire to. That is such a true statement. I'm glad my kid is having a better time than I am. Well, maybe you'd fix your freaking attitude. Goodness gracious. Oh, I'm trying to do homework in a place like this. is infuriating. I can't go three minutes without a random stranger bothering me. Yes, that means you. See, if I wasn't a mean person... I would send out my Pokemon and end your life. Is there such thing as a hidden item indoors? Randall? Good to see you made it out of Gevel Whoa, Jehovah Sect Witnesses Place, or whatever you had that was. I sallied on out of there a bit ago, fell back into some bad habits, but now I, here I am again and doing better than ever. The shelter's opening up a blessing center and their Arceus what 
Their shelter opening up is a blessing better than their Arceus what, what not could have ever hoped to give. The staff were real friendly and all, and look at all the books they helped me collect. To tell the truth, I've still got a lot of books back home, but variety is a spicy life, right? Still, it'd be nice to be able to go home someday. I live here in Old Reborn, of course. The only problem is, I done lost my key to my house. So I tried to call the locksmith, right? But any ID I got was in there, and the property ain't even in my name. They just assume I was bamboozling them to break into some poor fellow's homestead. I could have, I could break a window or something, something. But at that point, I decided fate don't want me to be at home right now. Then, so I adopted vagrancy and whim. Whoa. Whim, whimsitude. What? Whimsitude in. Whimsid do it? Whimsid did this? What the heck? That's not a word. There's 0% chance that's a word. It's been quite an experience, even if I am feeling... That guy just took it out of me. I have nothing left to give. You know, I've been thinking about, my reading has gotten so much better since I started playing this game. Like, I very rarely hesitate now. Ah, if we're not at this capacity, I don't know how much, if we're at this capacity, I don't know how much longer our food donations will last. Hopefully the citizens will contribute more or that we'll be able to get a supply train going soon. I knew I was about to get humbled there for saying that. I knew it was coming. Oh, excuse me. What is happening? What's back here? Nothing. There's literally nothing. Why am I even taking the time to explore this place? I said in the last episode when I came in here that I was going to come back another time because I thought the mulch thing might not take me two hours to finish, but... Which I still haven't finished, by the way. I'm assuming that I'm going to finish it today in this episode. I already talked to you. Let's head in here. Well, this whole pay it forward deal sure is nice. People can get a nicer room and then I don't have to do a thing. I ain't signed a contract, so I don't got to lift a finger. Yeah, you're the kind of person that... <clears throat> that doesn't deserve a place. You ain't doing nothing. We do, of course, offer job finding services to all our clients who may need it. However, the longer I work here, the more I find the problem with some people is not that there are no good jobs available, but rather that they are so unused to working or getting along with others or solving problems or settled for their, what they can get that it is not a challenge they are equal to. But even acknowledging that problem, I'm afraid I don't have a solution. Someone had to sit down and program all of these words. Oh, I gotta give this room up after so long, I can't just stay here permanently? But the city is the one who blew up my home, so why not? I get that they want to improve the quality of living in Reborn, but how much longer do we have to wait for our home to be finished? We've been here twice as long as they promised already. Can't say I ever expected to end up in a place like this, but I guess it's not the absolute worst it could be. I should just hit the road. What are you talking about? If there's anything you need in your time here, just please ask one of the staff. Oh, I beg your pardon, you're not staying here. My apologies. I mean, I could, but... Oh, I'm sorry. You know how long it's been since I have a roof over my head that don't leak? Because me neither. I just think it's really cool how virtually everything in Reborn City changed hello are you here to register for a room oh you don't look homeless did your family lose their house recently there those are our main populations whoa those are our main populations and with all of the reconstruction we've sure been full of them goodness gracious this is a tough crowd one guy checks in says he'll be here for a month and never shows up again another guy checks in for a day at a time always insisting he'll be gone the next but he hasn't missed one yet why is this so difficult 
Hello there, trainer. Are you familiar with this building? Yeah. Of course, anyone from Reborn City has probably seen it, but few know what it really was. Perhaps that's best. When the construction began, the folks at the Grand Hall couldn't find an owner registration, so it was put up for sale. Inspiration struck me, and I bought it to make it for home for those in need of homes. I'm always happy to be able to serve my community, even if it is a great cost. No, I need you to... Uh... This is outside, right? The only redeeming feature about this place is that they let us smoke up here. What a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Yeah, I, that doesn't make any sense. What a view with a blue lake stretching out before us. I could stare at this all day. It feels like a dream that we'll wake up from soon, so I have to appreciate it while I can. All right, what did we learn? What did we learn? Nothing. I didn't learn a dang thing. All right, someone in here teach me something about my life. Hey, you want to make a bet? Yes. Okay, I'll flip this coin. You call it. If you're right, I give you a thousand. If you're wrong, you give me a thousand. Here we go. Tails. And it was tails. Yes. No, I don't want to make a bet. Too many people here. I can't stand. I should just go. I should leave. You should go. You should leave. Please, please, please leave. Please leave. Bro, you got to chill. I haven't done a job app since high school, but anyway, how was I supposed to work when the city was such a mess before? Wait. I have applications. Oh, this application wants professional references. I don't think I have one of those. Hey, you want to pretend to be a reference for me? What if I come over here and I go to one of these... Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh. Oh, self. Well, let's just, I'm gonna use this. Oh, can't use it. Blankets, pillows, towels, rations here. If you're missing anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Our supplies are low, but we will do our best to provide for you as well as we can. What's anyone supposed to do in a place like this anyway? Watch TV? What TV? Books? Who the heck reads books this day and age? Video games? You think we got money for that? It's not like video games can be free. This game was free. Alright, I think that's everybody. In fact... Yeah, that was definitely everybody. What did we learn? Big waste of time. Big waste of time. Alright. Don't you think, like, this stairwell kind of looks like Julia? Like, whoa. I mean, yes, but that's a creepy thing to say. Oh, got to get back on my grind. I'm going to find it. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? That means it's over here. I never thought I'd end up in a place like this. Nice city, but since they built this old folks home up here, my son decided he didn't want me loafing around his place anymore. Ugh, it stings, but I can understand. I mean, that's a terrible way to think of that. Grass gem. Not what I'm looking for. The funny thing is the game knows. No, let me say it this way. Amethyst knew. Amethyst knew for a fact that I would be coming in here. Locked? Why is it locked? What reason is there for a door to be locked right now? I am the owner of this region. Thanks to your efforts, the Reborn City Police Department is back at full operation. If anything is troubling you, please don't hesitate to inform us. We are committed to keeping the city peaceful once for all. Ah, so you're interested in that Corrin Rogue character, are you? He's a confounding one, to be sure. He is a flashy individual, but skilled at hiding and getaways, so we've tracked much of his movement, though never been able to catch him. Now that we've got many other obstacles out of the way, we've already begun to turn a focus onto him. If you'd like to take Vanguard in the operation, I'm sure we could catch him in no time at all. Here's the situation. We've received an increasing number of reports about his whereabouts. That is, the number of people are fast increasing. It puts him in three different places at once. The reports all came in around the same time, but for wildly different places. I'd like you to investigate them. 
First, he was sighted around Malchus Forest. A moment later, we heard he was on a small islet in Azurin Lake. Finally, an officer reported that he saw him around the same time as Sunset Circle in Perido. Most of our officers are still occupying the multiple of our staff, so I shall entrust this with you. What? Okay, um... Hi, stranger just walked into my apartment complex. Why are you staring at me? Look, I already have social anxiety. Just being down here is a challenge for me. It's not like I have anyone I could hang out with in the city, so just let me be. They say the fires are healthy for forests because they make for a new growth. Seeing as how Jasper has sprung back, I get the feeling this might not be true after all. Or it might be true after all. <clears throat> so that police mission. Hmm. I would need my flyer. Hold on, hold on. There's an item buried around here. What the heck is that? Cherry berry, come on! Come on! You know that's not what I'm looking for. <sighs> anyway, what I was trying to say was, uh, my fiance and I had a little misunderstanding. I thought they were cheating on me, so when I got mad, I flung my engagement ring out onto the lake. The truth was clearing up later, and now everything is okay with us, but I haven't told him that I lost the ring yet. I've never felt regret like this. I wish I could fix it, but the ring was custom set, so I can't just buy an identical one. And of course, there's no chance I'd be able to find it in the lake. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Okay, like, I feel like I, well. What is this place? What is going on? I'm, I'm so confused. I'm making preparations for this place to become a station for the Rebit Rail, Rail Net. Okay. This game. This game is, it's, it's throwing a lot at me right now. Wait, say again? Since the old one was destroyed, the city decided to build a new medical clinic into the Pokemon Center. That would be nice if anyone below the age of 70 could afford service. Hold on, there's an item. Rossberry. Not quite. Okay. Now, I think I've searched everything here in Jasper. I'm researching the geological history of the Reborn region. Interested? Who was bored and sat down and wrote all of this text? Wonderful, let's start with this. Did you know that a long time ago, Amatrine Mountain used to be a volcano? But that's not all. Pyrus Mountain in Apophil used to be as frigid as Amatrine now is. Legends from an old civilization say that the day their civilization ended was the day that Giratina came to Reborn. They say the dragon was in a frenzy and all around it bizarre things would happen. Objects would disappear, lands would be spun upside down, and whole towns were transported across the region in the blink of an eye. According to the stories, by the time the Dimensional Warrior finally settled down in the southeast of the region, its chaos had already settled the fate of Reborn. Amatrine froze, and every speck of magma turned into crystal ice water. Pyrus erupted all at once, a volley of smoke and snow upheaved from its peak. The lava bled down the slope, burning away what traces of their lives had been in what is now a puffle. And in the months to follow, the rising temperatures thawed the snow, which formed what is now Azure and Lake, burying their old city beneath it. I hear some divers can still find artifacts from those days down there. As for Garatina, 
I wonder what could have happened to it. The records about it ended there. I just want to know who sat down and did this. Look at the desert. Look at the desert. Bro. Okay, hold on. Let me run this barrel fast. Barrel bridge. Oh, hi. Hi, don't mind me. I'm just people watching. They run around like everything they do is so important. And again, it's not like I'm any better. Always watching, never doing. Many travelers come here to survey Tourmaline Desert before they venture out into it. Are you the same way? Then take a good look. If you follow the rail north, you'll come up on the scrapyard. Numerous trainers have been numerous trains have been derailed there, and no one has been able to clean them up. Careful not to go too far north, though. Those sandstorms can get mighty fierce. And it's not safe for people to travel in on foot. Further south of that, there's supposed to be a cave buried under the sand somewhere. In the northeast, I hear the train. I hear other trainers can see an old tower, but I've never seen it personally. And finally, those mountains in the northwest, those are the Technite Mountains. I'm fixing to hike those myself. Oh, hi there, stranger. I'm up here investigating how we can reappropriate this plant for the city restoration project. Or I would be, but the room to the generator in the back seems to be locked. I've already called down to the Grand Hall and no one seems to have it. And this building belonged to the Uriu company, so they would have the key. Only, there's the small problem that they no longer exist. Maybe it's impossible after all. Wait, can I unlock it? Do I not have the key that they need? Yeah, 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 shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it with your creepy no music. Locked. I guess not. I thought... You know, with as much as I talk to people in this game, I wasn't sure. It's like, that sounds like a side mission. That's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like that's a side mission, and I'm supposed to, you know, be able to do something with it. And, uh... All right. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. We just got into the barrel ward to explore around. We're still, we didn't find a single mulch in today's episode, but we explored through a whole lot of rebuilt stuff and new text that's came to reborn. My voice is tired because I'm talking a whole lot more than I think I usually do in these, but I do hope that you enjoy our, uh, our re-exploration and our just relaxing few episodes, probably a relaxing week of reborn. In the next episode, we're going to continue on. We'll explore through Barrel Ward. If we can't find what we're looking for here, we will have to make our way to Apophel, which will probably fly down there, and see if we can find Victoria, which will get us a head start on the next part of the story. So again, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for checking out the video, and we will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.